Arteriosclerosis and atherosclerosis are closely linked conditions that obstruct blood flow in arteries and can significantly impact a person's health. Arteriosclerosis refers to the thickening and stiffening of arterial walls, whereas atherosclerosis refers to inflammation and the buildup of substances like cholesterol and low-density lipoprotein LDL in the arteries, known as plaque. Signs and symptoms depend on the affected area but can include hypertension, chest pain from blocked coronary arteries, transient ischemic attacks from blocked cerebral arteries, and leg pain when walking called intermittent claudication from blocked peripheral arteries. Organ damage, such as kidney failure and liver failure, can also occur from lack of adequate perfusion. Risk factors include aging, smoking, and conditions like high cholesterol, diabetes, and hypertension that contribute to sustained inflammation and arterial damage. Diagnostic testing includes blood tests like lipid profiles to measure cholesterol and LDL levels or C-reactive protein tests to assess for inflammation. Imaging tests include carotid ultrasound, coronary angiography, and CT angiography to visualize the extent of plaque buildup in arteries. Treatment includes lifestyle modifications and medications to prevent plaque buildup and complications from acute blockages. Lifestyle modifications include adopting a heart-healthy diet, increasing physical activity, quitting smoking, and effectively managing weight and blood glucose levels. Several types of medications may be prescribed. Antilipimics help lower LDL cholesterol and reduce the risk of plaque development. Antihypertensives lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of damage to the arteries. Aspirin and antiplatelets reduce the risk of thrombus formation from plaque. If severe blockages occur, thrombolytic therapy may be prescribed to dissolve clots or surgery may be performed to remove plaque buildup from arteries, such as endarterectomy or angioplasty. Nurses educate clients on the importance of lifestyle modifications and promote understanding of the purposes of prescribed medications and their potential side effects. Nurses also monitor for signs of acute blockages indicated by symptoms such as worsening chest pain, leg pain, stroke symptoms, or signs of organ damage from reduced blood flow. The overall goals of treatment are to maintain adequate tissue perfusion and to prevent complications from blockages. Nurses evaluate the effectiveness of interventions and revise the nursing care plan as needed to meet identified expected outcomes.